Hi there, thanks for checking in online for your latest weather forecast. I'm meteorologist Jack Church. Hopefully you got outside Tuesday for a while because this is what it was like for much of our day, at least here in the Rogue Valley. Bright and sunny and temperatures were a little bit warmer. Here's the setup now for the next couple of days. We've had this nice little ridge of high pressure that's been controlling our weather for the last couple of days. Wednesday is going to continue to be mild. There's a little weak cool front though that's headed in our direction that may bring about a few showers, primarily at the coast, I think starting Wednesday evening and into Thursday, but as you work your way inland, we'll likely see some clouds from that system and slightly cooler temperatures. We're still kind of under a slight bit of a trough of low pressure here. That's why temperatures are still running below average. And this little trough here is going to drop down that next little cool front that will pass through. But then here's the good news. Look as we head towards Friday and into the weekend. Start to see a ridge of high pressure building back in. That means a very nice weekend on tap along with warmer temperatures. So the pinpoint forecast overnight through the early morning hours, mostly clear skies. Then we start to see a few clouds. We can see late morning approaching the coastal communities. And then in the afternoon, even pushing your way inland, there's a slight risk. A couple of showers could pop up here and there. I think this is probably a bit overdone. Most of the showers I think would be along the coastline. And as we head into Thursday, we'll keep a slight chance of a shower in the forecast then as well, but there'll also be a good bit of sunshine across the region. Speaking of the region, tomorrow sunny skies and bend in 60 degrees, but becoming cloudy in the northern parts of our state, only 63 in Portland, but milder the further south you go. At the coast overnight, some areas of fog and some clouds will be pushed in with that front, especially by tomorrow afternoon. Highs will be in the low to possibly a few middle 60s. Meanwhile, east of the Cascades, a very cold night on tap region wide. Again, we're looking at lows in the 20s, 20 at Christmas Valley, 23 out tourists and 23 and uh, 26 that is in Klamath Falls. Tomorrow's highs, though, a little warmer will be in the 60s and we'll start to see some clouds in the Klamath Basin by the afternoon. Back here in the West Valleys, we have frost advisories in effect again, so many of our interior valleys will wake up to some frost in the morning. Lows 35 Ashland, 36 Medford and in Grants Pass, but highs tomorrow nice and mild upper 60s through the lower 70s. Still a little cooler than average for your Thursday. And there's a slight risk of a shower. We're going to put that in for Thursday. Then look at this nice warm up by the weekend. 80 degrees and sunshine on Sunday. Man, that looks nice, doesn't it? Meantime, Klamath Basin, uh, not likely to see any showers there, but a few clouds from that front coming through. A little cooler Thursday. The weekend looks bright and beautiful. And at the coast, though, chance of a few showers Wednesday night into Thursday, then nice and sunny for your weekend. And finally, Northern California, less of a risk of a shower there on Thursday, but a few clouds will be around. And the weekend, 70s to around 80 degrees by the time you get to Sunday. Hey, thanks for checking in online for this forecast. We always invite you to watch us over the air as well. That's at NBC5 News, and I sure hope you have a good one.